So, I just want to start off uh, this video with saying thank you to Norm and Kathleen for posting my video on Precious Testimony channel. I appreciate it and I thank everyone that has subscribed so far and everyone who's thinking about subscribing or everyone who will subscribe in the future due to the blessing that Norm and Kathleen has given me with these books and posting my channel on their channel. But I just drive down the road, I'm heading down to Springfield, Missouri, which is where I live, and I think the Lord's calling me to walk this cross up and down 76 Boulevard there in Branson, Missouri this weekend. Uh, tomorrow's my wife's birthday, so um, I think I'm going to take her to see Samson, the thing down inside Sound Theater. Anyways, that's not why I'm on here. I'll quit, I'll quit babbling. My thing is, is that used to, I heard it, I heard somebody say this, and it just stuck with me, and I've said it for years and years and years, that the greatest gift that God ever gave us was, you know, freedom to choose, uh, Free will, free will have you. So the greatest gift God ever gave us was free will. And that's why it's such a big thing in Revelations, you know, when they're talking about getting the the mark, the mark of the beast. Because you're basically giving up your freedom at that point to Satan or whatever the case may be. Anyways, you're giving up your free will. Um, so I've been thinking about this, and I, I want to... My, my thinking is changing the, the more I get to know God and Jesus and the, the more I cuddle up, if you will, to the Holy Spirit. So, so now my thinking, I'm trying to keep this short, but get my point across. My thinking is this. Jesus, Jesus himself, the Son of God, so God the Son, it's the greatest gift that God ever gave us. And then the very next thing in line would be the Holy Spirit. Now, I know you're going to hold on. Now, I know you're going to say, yeah, but it's God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Absolutely true. But Jesus came. You, it's my feeling. It's my experience that as soon as I didn't meet the Holy Spirit until I met Jesus. Once I met Jesus, then the Father started sending the Holy Spirit. It's just my experience. I'm not saying that it's absolutely true for everyone. I'm just saying that that's my, my thinking. So you're going to have God the Father. Once you accept Jesus, which is God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit is going to come and dwell in you once you accept the Son. And then... The greatest thing you've got is your free will to do whatever the Holy Spirit calls on you to do. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Uh, God bless you. I love you. And remember, Jesus loves you more than anything. He can stop the entire world on a dime just to come give you a hug and tell you he loves you and he's proud of you. And I love you and I'm proud of you too. Give your life to Jesus. Uh, Cross-country mission. And I'm out.